climbing the Huntington Ravine Trail today. We've already gone up the Tuckerman Ravine Trail, branched off, forded a couple of streams already. Been passing a few people that don't understand how strenuous the hike up this mountain is. And we'll keep on heading up. I have a little concern today. The uh, clouds haven't really disappeared yet. I hope the uh, the rocks are dry up there. If not, we'll be coming back. <laughs> so here's a panorama of the Huntington Ravine. Beautiful cirque. Feels like it wraps right around us here. And here's the trail we're going to go up. It starts in the boulders right here. Here's the fan. We'll look for some people on the fan and further up. Again. I've come a little ways since I, my last stop, but still quite a ways to go. Just barely starting up the fan right now. The only direction I see from here is up. Here's the Wildcat ski area. Here's the ravine that we're in. Beautiful waterfall coming down the side. Yeah, we've got somebody scaling the side of the cliff here. Better them than me. We're now well above the Wildcat ski area. There's the ravine. Here's the rock that that person is climbing. The waterfall again. This point is at the top of the fan. And I have to, need to start climbing again because I am not at the top yet. Here's some people climbing up the rocks that I just climbed up. They're just starting. It's pretty steep, required a lot of good holds. Challenging, but a lot of fun. We're getting up higher. Getting close to the top. We still have a few hundred feet to go. So I'm sitting at the top of the head wall at Huntington Ravine. I have survived. As long as I don't get blown off the mountain, the wind's not too bad today. I hopefully will make it down in one piece. The toughest is behind me. There's a nice perch right at the top of the head wall. There's a little bit more to the ravine. But we're getting there. This is not a trail for a beginning hiker. It requires some elementary rock climbing skills. You have to find good handholds, good footholds, step sideways, step back, walk up a crack in the rock. So unless you're in really good physical shape and someone's taught you a little bit about rock climbing, don't do it. the Carter Dome, Mount Height to the left, 
Carter Dome is 4,800 feet high. I'm above that. When I get up on the tableland or the alpine area, I will be at about 5,500 feet and I'll have another 800 feet and a mile to go to the summit. There's the top lip of the Huntington Ravine. There's the top of that massive rock you saw the climber on earlier. And here's the Alpine Garden, Alpine Garden Trail, going over to the Tuckerman Ravine Trail. The top, as usual, is in clouds. And this is my fifth time up here. It never gets old. Descending by way of Tuckerman's Ravine, there's the lion's head. There's Tuckerman's from the top. Boot spur. I'm looking up at the rock pile. Just came down all of that. And down to this point. We are at the top of Tuckerman's Ravine. And it's about to get a whole lot steeper. Down at Hermit Lake. And the hut down there, there's the lake. Got about a thousand vertical to get down there. Got a lot of water going on here. Beautiful waterfall. And still pretty much at the top of the ravine. Endless Cascading Waterfalls. Okay, I'm a sucker for lovely waterfall shots. Here's another one. Last one today. In the base of the ravine. All the way up to the sun. Okay, okay, I lied about no more waterfall shots. Can you blame me? Bravo! Bravo! Okay, so there's this one more waterfall that I'd never seen before. It's really at the beginning of the trail. And I could not live with myself if I did not get some footage. <laughs> 